Hey you, you're ugly. And you, over there, your ears are too big. And you, back there, you're too skinny. Now how did that make you feel? This is how I feel every day at school and so the Boys and Girls Club helped me gain my self-confidence back so I no longer care what people said about me anymore. My name is Kayla Williams and I am a sophomore at Port St. Lucie High School. About five years ago, I started my first day at the Kenfruit Unit Boys and Girls Club. And since then, my life has changed for the better. Everyone faces struggles in their life and I am no different. One of many struggles that I have faced is being criticized and labeled for being different. Labels like failure, fake, or ugly made it really hard for me to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There was no escaping it. Why? Even though my mother was Hispanic, I was never taught to speak Spanish. So I didn't fit in with the Hispanic kids. I didn't fit in with the black kids at school because even though my father was black, I never felt a connection to my black culture because my father was never in my life. I didn't fit in with the white kids at school because I didn't look like them and they said my hair looked like a wig. I felt depressed, dejected, and disheartened. There was no place for someone like me. At school, I felt alone and isolated. But luckily for me, I wasn't alone because I had my Boys and Girls Club. At my club, I can envision my future. Having a vision and direction for your life is so important. My vision and hope for today's teens is that they can become comfortable in their own skin and embrace their uniqueness. I feel sorry for the youth out there being bullied because they want to be themselves, but I also feel sorry for the people doing the bullying. If teens who are being bullied could see that there are community support groups, they could see that others face similar problems and they might realize they can overcome. If the teens doing the bullying could attend group discussions, they might learn how their words make others feel. Preventing bullying is the way, and prevention starts with early education. Schools must move towards anti-bullying education and empathy training in school, specifically sixth grade, where bullying is very common. With my plan in place, youth could overcome their problems, realize their worth, and resist their anxieties. Looking back now, I could laugh at the bullies who called me anorexic, not knowing that I always clean my plate and have dessert. Not only can I laugh, but I can also forgive. Why did they feel the need to put me down? Because they did not know how to deal with their own self-image issues? Because they needed to have power over others? Because they never learned empathy? I forgive every bully that's ever hurt me and hope they receive the help that they need. For me, hope is not a strategy for stopping bullying. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, more than one out of every five students ages 12 to 18 report being bullied in the previous six months. One in five students reports being bullied every single day. That equals approximately five million kids. Five million. Just think about that number. Five million kids in the United States every single day is being bullied. I don't know about you, but five million kids with low self-esteem, at risk for suicide, and more likely to be involved in school violence is far too many for me. Will you join me? Let's make bullying a thing of the past.